You'll be amazed how good and how refreshed you're feeling when you finally put that phone down and really say, I'm going to take a nap today. I'm going to lay here until I finally fall asleep to get... beauties thank you so much for tuning in for another video if you're new here welcome my name is Maggie and I do all types of self-care videos so if that's something you may be interested in please stick around by hitting that subscribe button so that you never miss another upload so today I want to talk a little bit about taking a break taking a break for ourselves today whatever it takes we're gonna rest and we're gonna take a break today I know we're still busy I know we're still probably working if we're not working then we're at home working and then dealing with the kids working and then dealing with virtual working so yes today we are going to take a break and I put together a quick little list to help us do that so let's start with number one number one is to listen to music now I'm a big big music artist fan all genres I listen to music probably every single day but maybe today you want to keep it a little bit more mindful maybe you want to discover some new artists today maybe you want to go on Pandora and do some browsing and really discover what's new discover what it is that you like and yeah just get into some music today sit down put some headphones on and just go to town just space out for a little bit and just indulge in all of that wonderful music that we love so much all right number two is to unplug I don't know how much I can stress this here on my channel but guys we have to put our phones down sometimes we have to get off the the tablet and a laptop sometimes and actually enjoy and have a normal life right yes it's still possible so next time like your phone is dying right don't plug it up and still continue to use it while it's charging use that time to charge your phone completely right which we know can take a couple hours or whatever let it charge completely and then use that time to stay off of social media to stay off your phone and do something else engaging right do something with the kids start dinner right start some laundry there's always something that can be done rather than just scrolling and being on social media all day okay so so we definitely need to be taking a break from that as well all right my third way to take a break today finally for once and that is to simply take a nap now how many of you are still getting things done how many of you are still busy even when the kids go down for a nap we should be using that time to either rest with them as well or to relax while they're sleeping right and not continue to be busy and doing all this crazy stuff that's going to burn us out even more before they even wake up you'll be amazed how good and how refreshed you're feeling when you finally put that phone down and really say I'm gonna take a nap today I'm gonna lay here until I finally fall asleep to get some energy right to get that extra little boost for the rest of the day so definitely don't not taking a nap as taking a break okay okay number four is to take a coffee or tea break so again like I said if you're busy if you're still working from home I work from home so taking coffee and tea breaks or even a lunch break is definitely beneficial we cannot keep forgetting about ourselves if that makes sense we still have to eat we still have to drink something so why not indulge in your favorite coffee or your favorite tea drink and sip it mindfully right maybe you want to take it right back to the work desk maybe you want to sit at the table no this time sit at the table with a magazine or you know whatever it is that you're doing or want to focus on in that moment and enjoy a cup of coffee or a cup of tea all right my fifth way to take a break today and that is to meditate I know I know I say it in every video I know why do you think I keep saying it having silence having time to yourself having time to literally hear and talk to God is so rewarding I can't even fathom I can't believe I don't meditate every single day but I do do it often and that's because not only does it help me take a break and to stop what it is that I'm doing to actually talk to God to hear from God I'm actually taking a break I'm resting my mind I'm not filling my mind up with what it is I was just doing or what it is I have to still get done right so using meditation to just breathe to just release and let everything out um, doesn't have to be this whole guided meditation but just simply finding a quiet spot finding five the 10 minutes of silence pure silence to close your eyes and to actually feel his presence is a great way to take a break today and to rest in his love for us okay if that makes sense same with number six I also wrote down daydreaming but it kind of goes into the same thing maybe you want to manifest something maybe you want to just sit on the couch and really reflect on what it is 
you want to do, right? It's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you want to take a second to make a quick little vision board or to write down some of your aspirations or just things that you want to get done. That is a way to take a break so that we're not just going off fumes, going off the dome, right? And actually have a plan, detailed list on what it is we can get done without actually doing it, right? It's not the time to do it. This is the time to plan for it, okay? All right, number seven. Another great way to take a break today is to take a walk. Take a walk somewhere, even if it's just a couple blocks on your in your neighborhood. Maybe it's just a couple houses down the street. Maybe you want to just walk to the store instead of drive this time. Or if you have a pet or if you have a dog like I do, walking him is our great way of bonding and getting that exercise and getting that daily dose of vitamin D or whatever, fresh air on our skin you know daily now I have been slacking these last couple days because it's literally three to four inches of snow outside and you gonna have to run around in the backyard I'm not walking you in that right now but but sure enough soon as it starts to melt warm up a little bit we're back on our walks we're back walking the dog so some form of walking and getting outside today period all right my eighth way to take a break today and that is to read something fun now I know I said to put up the social media and everything but if you're like me and not and not on there as much except for just when I'm working yeah sometimes it's fun to just hop on Instagram and, and go I go right to those funny Instagram pages funny hood pages or whatever it's called and I just die laughing right I go on YouTube I watch challenges I'm always looking for something funny to watch because I've been looking at so much negativity lately I've been watching CNN I've been getting all these bad news in my family lately everything on the news as far as the pandemic and people dying and people are hungry and going hungry like sometimes it's just good to take a break from that and just reassure us that joy and laughter is just as healing right it can be just as beneficial as just wallowing and bad news and negative news all the time so read something fun watch something funny watch a funny comedy movie if you uh, uh, if you can that's a great way to just take a break and finally catch up on one of those little movies or shows or videos you've been meaning to watch okay number nine number nine I wrote down to enjoy a snack really prepare a snack or a dessert today yes we do breakfast lunch dinner but I mean like a nice little snack right like maybe you want to bake some cookies or you want to bake a cake and have some uh, warm cake and ice cream or whatever it is some hot chocolate you know something that you can enjoy something that you enjoy making and something that you enjoy maybe you've been on the strict diet like me and have been like depriving yourself of all this good stuff it's definitely okay to have a little dessert today to have a little snack even if you want to go and buy it it's definitely nothing wrong with that I actually encourage that to just indulge in something that you actually like for once and to watch something you actually like to watch for once okay but don't forget about your snacks and taking care of yourself too and my last tip on how to take a break today and guys that is literally to do nothing that is literally to have a day of doing nothing now I recommend planning for a day like this so maybe so say Sunday is coming up Sunday is usually my do nothing day or Saturdays you know the Sabbath you know our do nothing days usually but again we have to plan for it so if Sunday's coming up maybe you want to do all of the things that still need to be done right chores dinner meals whatever helping the kids cleaning the house maybe you want to do that the night before that's kind of like what I did yesterday actually I got up I cleaned the entire house the kids helped me I mean we went from room to room to dining room to kitchen to bathroom we cleaned every single room in the house uh, before dad got home and not only was dad very pleased and very grateful to come home to just a spotless house like that but that kind of freed up my day today right I'm using it to film but yeah use that day to just rest and do nothing do absolutely nothing rest do all of these things that I that I mentioned already um, as well and just literally put your feet up and relax because lazy days are definitely a must lazy days are bound to happen but we just want to make sure that we're not getting further behind on things than <laughs> than we were before we even had a lazy day right so definitely plan for a lazy day so that you can pick up right where you left off and not have more work to do after your lazy day if, if that makes sense so that's another great way to take a break today all right my loves that's all I have for this video I really hope this was helpful I really hope this shed some light on how we don't have to be so hard on ourselves and we don't have to be this stickler of chores and just diets and all this you know getting everything done done like it's just just not healthy to work all the time so God gave us a whole day to rest and we need to start taking advantage of it and using it to our advantage so I really hope this is helpful and yeah I will see you guys on another video I love you so so much bye